Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to share the LTI MindTree interview questions. So recently a merger happened between LNT Infotech and MindTree company. Right now it is known as LTI MindTree. Lot of hiring has been happened and uh, this is the uh, recent interview. I am going to share the interview questions with you. Uh, so make sure you prepare for these questions. So you will get a clear picture how you can crack any interview. This interview was mainly focused on microservices and Java 8. I will share each and every questions one by one. So our first question is, how do you manage the inter-service communication in microservices? So there are two ways a microservice microservices can communicate with each with each other. One is synchronous and the other one is asynchronous communication style so if if i talk about synchronous communication style there are like uh, if microservices are communicating with the rest or with the grpc these are the protocol which are which has been used while communicating with the synchronous communication so uh, the way synchronous communication uses is uh, either rest template and uh, there is one more way which is web client and if i talk about async communication asynchronous communication in async communication a message breaker uh, message broker has been used so uh, your message broker can be anything it can be rabbit mq it can be apache kafka it can be active mq anything so these are the two way a uh, microservices can communicate with each other so while answering this question the person told that uh, they are using rest template so the next question what was a subsequent question uh, for this so the next question is you are using rest template to make the http call in rest template how do you pass the header or http headers so if you want to add headers in the rest template so there are multiple methods in rest template which is which has been used to communicate with other microservice for example exchange is there so if if i like uh, use exchange method so there are multiple argument you need to send like url method type or entity type or, or class type while passing the entity in the entity or in the http entity you can set the method body and the headers to send it through uh, the other network or the other microservice and there are other method as well of rest template like uh, get for object post for object so in the post for object method you will also pass some values like url and http entity and class class uh, the object type actually so in the entity you will create a uh, entity object and uh, add the method body and the header headers in entity and pass it in the post for object method and the next question was apart from rest template do you know any other way to use http call so there is there is one more way of uh, communication uh, to make communication between microservices apart from rest template which is web client so web web client is a synchronous and blocking sorry rest template is synchronous and blocking whereas uh, if you talk about uh, web client it is non blocking and web client supports async and as well as synchronous calls but rest template supports only uh, synchronous calls and i think rest template is now deprecated but uh, people are still using it in in the code the next question is are you working on front end as well so uh, by this question interviewers want to know that if you know any front end technology anything like uh, any j library of javascript or do you have knowledge about uh, react js or angular js which are buzz nowadays so if you know about these technology you can also tell it will give you an advantage okay and the next question is are you familiar with java 11 so the thing is now some companies are started working on java 11 as well so if you are familiar with java 11 you should tell that uh, you know uh, the things about java 11 and make sure you understand what are the difference between java 8 and java 11 what are the uh, like uh, uh, features which has been introduced in java 11 make sure because this will be a subsequent question if you say yes you know about anything about uh, java 11 the next question is in java 8 are you working with streams functional interfaces so 
all the features of Java 8 are very important. If I talk about stream API and functional interfaces, these are very important features. And uh, if you talk about stream API, there are multiple interview questions which are uh, like uh, the programming question which are based on stream API. And uh, if I talk about functional interfaces, there are four different type of functional interfaces which has been introduced in Java 8. And uh, of course, there are functional interfaces before Java 8 as well. But uh, uh, the thing is, the functional interface feature has been introduced in Java 8. So make sure you tell the functional interface which has been introduced after Java 8. Uh, I will tell you some examples like uh, the function is an interface which which is a function interface. Then uh, consumer is a inter uh, function interface. Then producer is a function interface. So these are the interface. Uh, which has been introduced and one more is predicate predicate is also introduced in java 8 uh, and these all are functional interface so basically functional interface is an interface which has only single abstract method and what is the use of that single abstract method it will represent a functionality of that interface so if i talk about uh, predicate it has test method so it will test it will test it will take uh, a value uh, which will return a boolean type so it will take a condition it will test a condition and return a boolean uh, type true or false so these are the like uh, important things about function interface and if i talk about stream api uh, stream api itself is a very big topic there are multiple things in stream api like intermediate operation and terminal operation and why stream api was introduced what is the use case it solves then uh, what is the difference between stream api and uh, parallel stream and you can tell some of the example of uh, intermediate operations like map flat map and some of the examples of uh, terminal operations like uh, collect uh, for each and there are multiple things to tell now i will go to the next question which is what is the method reference in java so method reference is another one feature which, which was introduced after Java 8. So it is a kind of a easily readable uh, writing syntax for a Lambda expression. So Lambda itself is a very easily readable and shortened way of writing uh, some uh, function interface and uh, writing some piece of code. But it is more uh, compact way of writing Lambda expression. Then another question is what is the benefit of stream API? So if I talk about stream API, stream APIs are more declarative style and you can write a functional programming like a code in Java using stream API. So stream is nothing but a way of uh, uh, doing iteration over a collection framework. So you can do iteration over a collection, you can do iteration over an array or a string or a list of element, anything. You can uh, create a stream out of it and then perform certain operations on it. Or you can just filter out or anything you can do with stream API. So there are two types of operations in stream API. One is intermediate operation and the other one is terminal operation. So there are multiple methods which has been provided for intermediate operation. There is filter method, there is map method, there is filter map, uh, sorry, flat map method is there. Then if I talk about terminal operation, there is a, a, a terminal operations are basically which will collect the stream to a data structure or you can perform certain action on it like uh, printing a certain stream so you can uh, or you can use for each method so these are the example of terminal and intermediate operations so uh, the last one is a coding question i mean the last question of this part is a coding question and uh, the coding question is you have a list of uh, uh, some integers some values and you need to find the maximum out of it so there is a method written over here ignore the cases because i'm using a word ms word so it is creating first letter capital so in this coding question uh, there is one list which has been given the list is uh, of integers and you need to find the maximum out of these integers so there is a method which is written over here so this method is uh, max max for task one so and there's this method should be some 
return type as well so i will give the return type as integer and now you need to write something in this method that will return the maximum out of this list so first of all what i will do uh, there should be some type of this uh, list i mean uh, the list so i will create a type as a list integer because this list is a type of integer so generic type will be integer and i will pass this list over here in this method as a list integer so i will write list integer here also now i will take this list and create a and i will create a stream out of it and after creating a stream there is a method called max and this method will take argument so in this uh, uh, like uh, max method i will pass the comparison logic a comparison method which will be compare method of integer type and then i i'm using method reference over here and this will return a optional optional value so i will use get method over here to take this and i will return this statement over here okay so finally i am getting the maximum out of this list and here it is using the feature of java 9 java 9 onwards but if you want to use java 8 uh, purely java 8 here so instead of using list dot off you can create a list using arrays dot as list as well so make sure you will solve this question by yourself i will see you in the next video till then bye bye